this video I'll be telling you how to install the Wii menu to your Dolphin emulator, mod the Wii and install all your favourite homebrew applications onto the Wii. Let's get on with it. First off you're going to want to go to the link in the description to get Dolphin emulator. Download Dolphin 5.0 for Windows. You will need some sort of extraction software to actually extract it. I've already downloaded it and extracted it. So after you've extracted it, just go into Dolphin X64, Dolphin.exe, and this is what first time setup will look like. It's going to ask you if you authorize Dolphin to report information to Dolphin's developers. I'm going to press no, but it doesn't really matter for this tutorial as long as you're comfortable with it. Now, next up, you're going to want to go to Tools. Then you're going to want to go to Perform Online System Update, and then just select your region. I'm going to put Europe because that's where I live, but if you want to put Japan, Korea, or United States, feel free to. I'm going to put Europe, and yeah. Uh, connect to the internet and perform an online system update. Just press yes for this one, and it could take a while. It normally takes about 30 seconds, depending on what hard drive you have. I have an SSD, so it shouldn't take that long, but if you have an HDD, it could take up to a minute and a half. So just be wary of that. As you can see, mine's almost done, so there's no need to speed it up or go for any like clips or anything. So uh, yeah, or cut it out or anything. So as you can see, the emulated Wii console has been updated. So now if you go over to Tools, Load System, uh, Wii System Menu 4.3e, uh, or the E doesn't actually matter. It could be E, J, K, or U, depending on which one you picked, Europe, Japan, Korea, or United States. This uh, first one could take a while. As you can see, it's asking me to press A to continue. It's going to uh, ask you to select the system language. I'm English, so I'm going to put English, and it will basically just be like you're setting up a real Wii. So I will meet you guys when I finish setting this up. Now that this is all installed, you can just close out of here, stop the current emulation. And now if you go to the second link in the description, there'll be a wad for the homebrew launcher. I have already installed it. So if you go back to tools, install wad, go to the downloads folder where you downloaded the uh, homebrew channel. And here it is. I'm just going to do that. And it will say successfully installed this title to the NAND. Now if we relaunch the system menu 4.3. And just I'm going to, yep, here we are. We have the homebrew channel. And if we start it, it should work like the homebrew channel. Uh, now, if you want, you can actually set up a Wii uh, remote, like a real one on here. I will show you how to do that right now. So if you go to controllers, then go to Wii Remote 1, change this to real Wii Remote, turn on these two options, make sure your computer has Bluetooth, and then just press the sync button on your Wii Remote and wait for it to connect. I'm going to be using an emulated Wii Remote for the sake of this tutorial, but if you want to use a, Wii 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 remote, uh, a real Wii Remote and you want to use a sensor bar, then just connect a real Wii to a sensor bar, turn the real Wii on, connect the Wii Remote to your PC, and it should work properly. And yeah, uh, candles will also work if you don't have a real Wii, so just close out of here. And now what you want to do is you want to go up to Config, and you want to go up to Wii, and you see how it says insert SD card and allow rights to SD card. Make sure these are both enabled. And that will give you the SD card path and the SD card sync folder. I'm going to press convert file to folder right now. This could take a while if you have something on there, but I don't at the moment. And now you just want to go to the SD card sync folder over here. Copy this. Paste it into File Explorer. I'm actually going to paste it into a separate window. So File Explorer. And here. So, as you can see, the folder's empty, but we're gonna change that. So, first off, right click, new folder, folder. And now just name this, apps. Next up, I'm gonna make a WBFS folder, and I'm going to make a um, WOD folder. And now we have apps, WOD, WBFS. In your apps folder, this is where you're going to want to put all your favourite homebrew apps. For the sake of this tutorial, I've actually already got my Wii SD card in my computer, so I'm just going to open this in a new window and copy some of the apps from over here. So I'm going to copy over WOD Manager, Wii Flow, USB Loader GX, and WinFly Patcher. Next up for the WBFS folder, I don't actually know if I have anything in this WBFS folder, but if you want to put anything in there, like if you have USB Loader GX on there, like I've just put, or WeFlow, 
Then just put some WBFS files, uh, files into here. I actually do have a Mario Kart Wii WBFS, so I'll just put that in there. Uh, Mario Kart Wii, I'll just put this in here. And as you can see, we now have it. I'm actually uh, going to be having to copy this back over. That now that we have all this set up, I'm actually going to put a wad in there. Um, we wad. I'm going to put your uh, uh, Uno. And now what we can do is we can go back into Dolphin, make sure we're still here, and convert folder to file now. This could take a while depending on what you've put on there. Obviously I've put Mario Kart Wii on there, so it's going to take a little bit of a time, so I'm just going to skip through here. Alright, as you can see, it's now finished. Uh, it wouldn't take that long if you don't have that much stuff on there. As I have put Mario Kart Wii on there, it did take a little while. So now you can just exit out of here, go into Tools, and now just load the Wii system menu. Just go into the Homebrew channel straight away. Start it up. And to prove it all works, I'm going to load up Wii Flow load it uh, it's come up with a bit of an error here maybe USB loaded GX will work Alright, um, it seems to have failed, I, I must have done something wrong, but whatever, <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, so, you can, uh, have, as I have, you know, opened USB Loader GX, it proves that it does actually work, I'm just going to head back to the Wii menu, and Everything from here should be modded if you ever want to install any more uh, wads. Just remember you can go up to tools, install wad, select your wad. I'm just going to install the pirate channel. I don't know if this will work. Load up the Wii system menu and your wad should be there. Yep. You are a pirate. We are pirates. And this is just a homebrew channel, but you know, better because it, it's the pirate channel, you know what I mean? Pirate channel is better. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed, please smash like. If you didn't enjoy, smash dislike. Please subscribe if you are new to the channel because we are currently suffering from some uh, new subscribers recently. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!